Well, let's go to the next question, and that is, well, how do plants make a profit? Um, so, an existing plant, for an existing plant, the plant makes a profit when the price is at or above the average total cost at a given capacity factor. So, uh, and again, this is thinking about average total cost over the lifetime of the plant. So, for a given capacity factor for the plant, if the price you get is above average total cost, then you're making a profit on the plant. That is, you're making all your average variable cost, you're making enough to pay back the loan with enough rate of return to make that loan a good investment for the lender to finance the power plant. And you're making something in addition to that. So anything you make over and above your average total cost of given capacity factor means that you're making positive profits. A price equal to average total cost implies that investors are earning a normal rate of return on the plant. They're getting paid what they need to justify investing in the plant. A price above average total cost implies that the plant is earning extra profits, extra normal profits. And we're going to call these extra normal profits scarcity rents. That's just economist talk for profits above the amount needed to justify investment in this particular plant. This is the extra profit. It's the extra profit from running a low cost plant at a time when prices are high. That's another way of thinking about scarcity rents. So if you have a low cost plant and it's running when prices are very high, then the difference between the plant's average variable cost, uh, average total cost, and the price that the plant can actually get is called scarcity rents. And we're going to talk a lot more about scarcity rents. But let's look at our picture. And let's suppose we have a chance to contract for this plant at 50%. Go back and get our pencil. So our contract is for 50%. My marginal cost is 22.50. The the average total cost at an anticipated capacity factor of 50% is 37.30. So. Uh, at if I were earning exactly 37.30, I would be earning just enough to justify building and operating this power plant in the long run. Anything over 37.30, suppose I get $40 for the power plant. Or let's make an even more extreme example. Let me erase that. Let's suppose it's a hot summer day. We have a baseload power plant that's running. And we have a hot summer day. And on a hot summer day, we're, we're, having to, we're having to ramp up some of our peaker units. And these peaker units need to be earning a lot more than 3730 in order to justify operating them. So on a hot summer day, the price of, let's just suppose the price of electricity is up here around $50. Then we're earning above our average variable cost, so we'll definitely operate the plant. And we're even earning above our long run average total cost. And so that means we're earning more than a normal rate of return for this power plant. And the difference is what we call scarcity rents. The money I earn operating the plant at above average total cost at my anticipated capacity factor is scarcity rents for this power plant, above normal rate of return. 
And so you can think about a power plant as having some times of the year when it's earning something less than the normal rate of return. It's earning something less than it needs to cover all of its costs. And you can balance those times with periods when the power plant is running at above its long run average cost and earning scarcity rents. And as long as those average out to at least the average total cost, this power plant can earn a normal rate of return. So even if it's not earning the average total cost all the time, as long as it's earning uh, enough to cover its variable costs, some of the time it'll run covering just some of the fixed costs. Other times it will be running with scarcity rents, and that'll pay off those periods when there are losses being made and the plant can make a normal rate of return, even though some parts of the year it's going to be running at, uh, under the long-run average cost for the plant. All right. So a plant makes a normal rate of return, what economists call zero economic profits, when the price is equal to the average total cost at the anticipated capacity factor. A price greater than average total cost implies economic profit. Oops, back to my marker. Price above average total cost implies economic profit or scarcity rents. A plant is earning scarcity rents. The price below average variable cost implies losses, so shut the plant down. A price in between average variable cost and average total cost implies running the plant to decrease losses due to fixed costs. So now we have a rule for operating our power plant. Run the plant whenever the price is above the average variable cost for the plant. This recovers as much of the fixed costs as possible and earns us scarcity rents when the price rises above the average total cost. And sometimes the plant might run when average variable when when price is less than average total cost. Again, it's not covering all of its fixed costs, but it's doing better than not running the plant. And any losses can be made up for in periods where the plant is earning scarcity rents. And as long as those periods are balanced out, a plant can earn at least a normal rate of return even though there are times of year when it can't make up its entire average total costs.